Alright, this is a tutorial video for creating and editing terrain in UDK version 7637. My name is Gabe Valdez and I'm in cohort 15 and it is January 26th, 2011. So to start with, we're going to go to Tools, click on New Terrain, and this opens up the New Terrain Wizard. Here you can set the X, Y, and Z starting locations for your terrain as well as the number of patches. Each patch is 512 by 512 Unreal units. Go ahead and click Next, and then Finish, and give it a second and it pops in the terrain. So this is your terrain. Right now it doesn't look like much, so the first thing we are going to do is add a material to it. So to do that, you go into Terrain Editing Mode. To do that, you click on this little mountain button right under the camera in the left pane. And here's your terrain editing window. Now, in the window you have the tools in the upper left. Then you have settings. You can set the strength, radius, and fall off of your brushes. You can uh, have them be mirrored across an axis. And you can also have the settings be applied globally to all your tools or to just one tool. Uh, over here you have stuff like the properties. You can toggle the wireframe view on and off. Here you have import and export. That's for importing and exporting your height maps and materials, deco layers, stuff like that. Here you have different brushes. And by right clicking them you can save your current settings as a brush preset. And here you have tessellation which increases and decreases the number of tries. So you get more detail and can do finer adjustments with more or you can drop it down to increase performance but be careful about changing it too much. Alright then, I'm going to turn wireframe back off and down here, this is where all your layers go. So to put a new material on, the first thing I'm going to do is go into the content browser. I'm going to take off all my filters and set it to look for materials and I'm going to go into UN Terrain. Now make sure that your, the packages you're using are fully loaded before you try to apply them. So I'm going to click on this one, MUN Terrain Dirt 04, close the content browser. Okay, to assign that material I'm going to right click in this window here and I'm going to go to New Terrain Setup Layer for Material Auto Create. Give it a minute and there's my new layer and there it is applied to the terrain. Alright, now I'm going to start editing the terrain. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the paint tool. This is the primary one you'll be using. To raise the terrain, you control left click and to lower the terrain, you control right click. Now all the tools here in the terrain editor are going to follow that same pattern. Control left click does the operation and control right click reverses it. So next let's try the noise tool. Now this tool creates a bunch of random bumps and dips in your terrain. So it's very good for getting a kind of natural random feel to your terrain. And then you can of course do the inverse with control right click. Now then let's use the smooth tool. The smooth tool smooths things out, gets rid of all those jagged edges and stuff. So it's really good for using in conjunction with the noise tool. The noise tool will give you all that randomness in there and then the smooth tool will smooth it out to make it look like rolling hills or whatever else you need. Now let's try the average tool. The average tool brings everything underneath the brush to an average height. So control left click and it does that. It smooths things, it smooths things out a bit without completely flattening them. Now to completely flatten them, there's the flatten tool. For those of you that have worked in GEC, it works just like that one. Wherever you click and drag from, it will move everything to that height, whether it be higher or lower. So now I'm going to try one more tool, the visibility tool. Now this tool toggles the visibility of a section of terrain on and off. The important thing to remember here is that when the visibility has been toggled off, that does affect collision. So this is now a little box that you could fall through. 
Now this tool is useful for if you want to stick a static mesh into your terrain, like the entrance to a building or a cave or something. You can use the visibility tool to quickly make a hole, drop your static mesh in, and then go back to the paint tool to move the edges up or down or whatever so they fit close to the static mesh. Now we're going to add some more materials to the terrain. So to do that, I'm going to go back into the content browser and find a new material. I'm going to look in UN Rock, fully load it, and I'm going to use this one, MUN Rock BSP Rock 09. Select it, close the content browser, and again we're going to right click in this window and do New Terrain Setup Layer from Material Auto Create. And give it a second. And now we have our new material here. Now unlike the first one that you applied, it's not instantly applied to the terrain. To do that, you select your paint tool and control left click and give it a second and control left click to start painting the new material on. And then control right click to erase it. Now the last thing we're going to do is a deco layer. So you right click in the window again and this time you go to new deco layer. Give it a name. I'm going to call mine trees. And then I'm going to go back into the content browser and this time I'm going to be looking for static meshes under content and I'm going to search for trees. And here we have a few trees. I'm going to take SUN tree SM burnt tree 01. Close out the content browser. Now that you have the trees static mesh selected, you go to your trees layer, right click it, and click on add selected decoration all the way at the bottom. Now that you've done that, go to your properties, and it will be here under deco layers and the array. So go down, expand this array, and right here in these things you have min scale, max scale, density, and some other stuff. You want to set min scale, max scale, and density to some non-zero value so you actually get something. So I'm going to set them all to 1 for now. Close that out. And now when I paint, I paint these static meshes in there. Now I can go back into the properties and I can change the density. Let's up it to 2. And now the static meshes where you painted are denser and you have more of them. And that concludes the video on terrain editing.